In my six years of producing, one of my all-time favorite and most used plugins has to be Gross Beat. It can just be used for so many different things and can change the vibe of a beat or a song entirely. If you've never heard of it before, I'm sure after this video you're probably going to use it just as much as I do. So I'm going to show you my favorite ways to use Gross Beat. Alright, so getting started with my number one favorite way to use Gross Beat, these are in no particular order by the way, is to use it for your intros. What we're going to do is use the half speed preset and have a really slow, mellow, and kind of emotional intro. And so to do that, just double click, see what track you're on, make sure that you have that track selected, add the Gross Beat plugin, and we're going to navigate over here to the momentary tab and we're just going to choose half speed. But then what we're going to do is on the Grow Speed plugin here, just right click on the knob and go create automation clip. That will insert this here. I'll make it bigger for you so you can see more so what we're doing. Let's get these ones out of the way. What we're manipulating here is this intro. So I want to have it playing during the intro and then have it cut out at the end of the intro like that. But what we're going to do is rather than having it go straight and then zero, because that'll just sound kind of abrupt, what I like to do is have it kind of fade in to about half and then go all the way back up and then cut off. And you can even smooth these out a little bit. I like to do it that way. And let's just take a listen here and I'll show you what that sounds like. So as you can see, it really changes the vibe of that intro. I think this is perfect for emo rap beats and also works really well in some lo-fi beats. Personally, I'd like to do it on guitars and pianos the best, but go ahead, experiment with this, see what else sounds good. So moving on to number two favorite way to use gross beat. This one is also going to be on our melody, and this is going to come in really handy when you have a loop that is sounding really repetitive. So what we're going to do for this one is again, make sure we're on the right track and we're going to this time, instead of having the half speed preset we're gonna right click here and go to patterns and we're gonna use one of these patterns here to switch up the flow of the melody i'm gonna just try this pattern here the key with this is to just try the different ones see what sounds good on your particular beat every beat every melody is gonna have a pattern for gross beat that in my opinion will sound good so here i'll play it for you first without the gross beat and i'll play it for you with the pattern in See, that sounds a bit weird uh, right off the bat, but you know that might be good to stick in here on one of the later verses to switch it up, or you can try some of these other patterns here. Some of them are way trippier. See, and now you've got a whole new guitar melody. I'll show you one more just for the fun of it. Again, for these ones, I wouldn't have that play throughout the whole beat. I would have it play through just like one verse to make that verse different from all the rest. So yeah, take that technique, try it out. Let me know what your favorite pattern is in the comments below. All right, so my third favorite way to make gross beat. I'll be honest, this is probably the most common one that I use is to make like a wubbing effect on your 808s. <laughs> All right, so how we're going to do that is make sure you have your 808 pattern selected this time, not the melody. We're going to add gross beat and we're going to put on this half beat gate preset here. But the key is you need to turn it down to at least like 60, 70 percent. We'll start with 70 and see how that sounds. Maybe just a little bit much. So, yeah, we'll crank that back down to 60 and we'll try that. That's more so what we're looking for. So it depends a bit on the BPM, but my favorite is to use the half beat gate for the wubs. That's just like the speed that I like. Um, You can try the different ones. You know, we have one, we can slow it down a lot. We can speed it up. We can make it go a bit off beat. But yeah, again, like I keep saying over and over, the key is to play around with these. Uh, you can copy exactly what I do just to kind of get the hang of it. Some of them sound great. Some of them sound like trash. You'll have your own personal preferences. Don't take it from me. All right, so my fourth favorite way to use gross beat. This is probably the most unconventional way of all of them. I actually learned this method by complete mistake, but just hear me out. If you don't like the way it sounds, you don't have to try it. So what we're gonna do this time is add gross beat to our master track, and we're gonna choose one of these patterns here that we tried before. But we gotta make sure that we're gonna create an automation clip because we really don't want that to play for our whole beat or that would just be weird. But what I like to use this for is outros mainly. And so when I make an outro using this method, what I'll do is usually copy the whole hook 
paste it after. And then what we're going to do is have no gross beat playing through the whole beat. We don't want this playing through the whole beat until it just hits this outro. That's all we want. And then what we'll do is also on our master track, we're going to add a fade out. So we'll right click the volume, create automation clip. And at the same spot, we'll just start fading this out. Similar to when we used the half speed plugin before, it's just going to change the whole vibe of the beat as soon as it hits here. This is a bit unconventional. I don't use it very often, but I have had a few beats where I put this on the outro or actually other songs I've produced for people as well. I've used this method on the outro as well. And so on a same note, you can use the half speed preset for this method as well. And it actually sounds really good in my opinion. I'll put that one on for you now. We'll go momentary half speed. <laughs> but I do have one last final method to show you. So the beat I'm using for all these demos, by the way, is called Deployment, and it is on my YouTube channel along with 1,000 other free beats that are like this. You can use them in your songs. They're all free for profit. And so this trick is a way to make a really easy, quick hi-hat pattern. And so what we can do is just take a basic two-step hi-hat pattern like this, we can put gross beat onto that, choose one of our patterns. The complex ones or the chaotic ones work really good for this. And there you go, there's your brand new hi-hat pattern. In my opinion, that is way quicker than trying to sit in the piano roll, click it all through yourself, and some of them sound really sick. But that's all I got for you guys today. Please, please comment below what your favorite method of these was. I'm really curious to know. I have tutorials like this going up every two weeks, so make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when the new videos come out and you can continue to become a better producer alongside me. I've been doing this for six years now and I'm just trying to help out new producers by sharing everything that I've learned along the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.